A there, it's Anne's from the A Life, and this video is for the practitioners, the beauticians, the hairdressers, uh, any kind of practitioner who spends their day round and forward looking after clients because make sure you stick around in this video i will be sharing with you my top strength stretches end of day stretches to help relieve your upper back neck and shoulders and you are going to want to keep these ones in the bank and do them really regularly to take care of your body so it's so important that we work on stretching our, our neck and shoulders as well as strengthening them to help with balance and realignment of our posture it's good that you can do these in between seeing clients as well as spending a little bit of time at the end of the day so make sure you follow on these classes these, these uh, exercises take them with you let me know in the comments below if it's helpful and if you really enjoy our style of movement you might be interested in the a life Ex express we have a seven day free trial which is going to give you more whole body daily movement perfect for practitioners who are doing the same thing over and over every day in and out so let's do it okay so this first exercise is really good for this little rounded uh, hump here that we can get right at the base of the neck. Yeah, so especially if we're on our phone, it's starting to get called text neck where we're kind of getting this neck forward and we're getting this roundness here. So this is the exercise you're gonna do. You're gonna interlace your hands behind your back, reach them back here and pull the shoulders back away. So you're pulling your hands, interlaced hands, as far away behind you as you can while you shift the neck forward. So think of the nose, it's not going up, down, side. The nose is going forward this way. And we're gonna hold here. I'm gonna give you two versions of this. So if it's not comfortable to interlace your hands here, hang around and I'll show you the other option. We're gonna reach forward. A few deep breaths and then from here you're going to interlace the hands push the palms forward now again no flexion extension you're going to tuck your chin and shoot the neck and shoulders uh, sorry the head back and we're shifting back while you're pushing the hands forward so another way you can do this is have the hands um, on the back of the of the shoulders here and that one that we just did you're going to Get the hands on the top of the traps and tuck your chin, shift backwards. And you're going to hold. And then hands on the front of the collarbones and shift forward. So you can do this three or four times to get that bit of the neck that can get really stiff moving. The next stretch I'm going to show you is to stretch under the lats, which can get really tight if we get these rounded shoulders. So you're going to bring the hands up, hold on to the elbows here, and if you can, from here, pull the whole arm back. More soft bend in the knees, hips underneath your um, torso, and then like we're going to move slowly, like you're moving through honey, and we're going to side bend here opening up the triceps, opening up the um, side waist, and really send your breath for three breaths here, over as you reach, breathing into your side benders. If again that's not comfortable, you can grab your wrist and reach up and over this way. Once you've done that side, you're gonna do both sides, reaching up, make sure those shoulders aren't near your ears, Move slowly so where core is supporting us, and then side bend. A few deep breaths. And coming up. And then come down, give your shoulders a nice big roll. The next one is more of a strengthening and conditioning. It's really important, especially as we're standing all day, that we're keeping our shoulders stable and strong. So you're gonna bring your fingertips right next to your eyes here. A tall spine we're going to bring the elbows to touch at the front and open at the back here so we're staying upright we're looking forward and we're going to do 30 seconds here so touch open touch open so you can do 30 seconds maybe three times in your day anytime or you can do them in the in a row and have a break 
really feeling the shoulder blades and the shoulders open making sure you're not extending and moving the spine as you go all happening in the upper body here keep breathing let's do 10 more 10 nine and this might be quite hard to start with you might have to build this up eight seven six five four three two and one coming down give your shoulders a roll the next two are two that you can do when you get home at the end of the day really powerful stretches uh, again to help realign our posture so the first one you're going to need a chair or a bench we're going to come to kneeling and you're going to bring your elbows on the top of the bench here palms together you're going to walk your knees back so that they're over your knees underneath your hips now you're not slumping and dropping completely we're staying in alignment our ribs are connected and then from here draw the hips back and you're going to take some really wide 3d breaths you can keep the hands over the elbows or you can bring the thumbs to the back of the chest let them rest on the upper back and then here you can spend anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes you can build this up Really think of breathing and expanding wide into the rib cage. So 3D breath. So a 3D breath is getting the front to move, the back and the sides. 3D expansion of your breath. All while we open this upper arm, the lats. So important, especially if we're holding things all day, using our arms. Again, you can spend up to two minutes in this position. Take your time coming out of it and slowly come up. A really nice one to do at the end of the day, or if you're particularly feeling tight, you can do it in the middle of your day. And then the last one is a beautiful end of day stretch as well to help with this rounded posture. So you're going to grab a rolled up towel and the towel is going to go around your bra line. So you're going to Bring the towel to the middle of the back, so just underneath the shoulder blades. Feet hip width apart, but you're going to bring the big toes together. You're going to lie over the towel here, arms above you, they're straight. Turn the palms down and bring the pinky fingers together. Really try and have the elbows straight here as you reach above your head, trying to get the palms towards the ground. Now we're going to hold here again. This is a great end of day stretch. You can hold anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. Taking some slow, deep breaths. You might need to start here with a really small rolled up towel and you can slowly build it up. Really work on reaching the arms straight as long as you can, trying to get those palms flat as best as you can. You might want to do a couple of rounds is another great option. We'll take one more deep breath just for now. And then at, when you finish this one, really important, you want to come out slowly. You're going to roll onto your side, come up to all fours and just spend some time lengthening those muscles of the back. So you're going to round the spine, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. And just stretch all those tissues of the spine. You might want to round, rock forward, back, side to side. And once you've rounded and lengthened those tissues for a little bit of time, you can always move a few times into your cat cow in flexion and extension. All right. Okay, so there are the stretches and movements that I really recommend. They're going to make a huge difference on not only your posture, but any aches and stiffness you might be feeling in your upper back, especially if you're working on clients in that forward rounded posture all day. Give them a try. Let me know how they feel in the comments below. We love hearing from you and I look forward to moving with you soon.